Now students, now we are going to answer next question. 8.6, why does sound travel faster in solids than in gases? Why does sound travel faster in solids than in gases? Okay students, uh, sound jo hai, wo solids mein se faster kyun guzarta hai as compared to gases? Um, its answer jo hai, hum kuch isna denge. According to According to the equation which is about the speed V equals E over rho. Okay students, according to this according to this equation which is the which define the speed of the sound and here is the elasticity modulus rho is the density of the matter now we are comparing two types of materials number one is solid and other is gases and here we have to define that that the speed of the solid the speed of the sound in solid is maximum faster than in the gases we have to prove this now student uh, the answer of this question we can write in your paper in your examination as according to the equation v equals under root e over rho here e young's modulus young's modulus of elastic elasticity This is used for solids and for gases this is bulk modulus, bulk modulus of elasticity. And this is for gases. Okay students, now we are discuss the density density of solids solids density this have greater value and this a less value okay student if we compare the e which is the elasticity of modulus in solids we say this is a Young's modulus of elasticity while in case of gases this is called bulk modulus of elasticity and for this case the value of the E for solid is greater because this is Young's modulus in solids because uh, in solids particles are very very close to each other closely packed than in gases so in gases we use this as a bulk modulus of elasticity which is less value and if we talk about the density now here density of solids solid density is greater than gases okay here is the our rho is the elasticity uh, sorry rho is the density of solid uh, solid density greater than gases density so if we are interested to find out the answer of this question we have to relate these uh, four terms actually there are two terms the ratio we can see that V is directly proportional to the ratio of E over under root and as well as V is directly proportional to the this is for solids and this is for gases okay we are interested to find out the ratio of these two quantities which is the elasticity model modulus of elasticity and ratio of the modulus of elasticity to the density so in case of solids the ratio, this ratio is maximum this ratio have maximum value while in case of gases this ratio have minimum value because the value of the Young's modulus of elasticity is greater than the value of the 
bulk modulus which is gas for gases and in other ways we can also define we can see that here v is here v is inversely proportional to the under root rho and of course we know that the density of the solid is greater than lesser the density maximum the speed greater the density maximum the uh, lesser the speed so if we see that solids have a maximum density so in in the, in the same way if the solids have the maximum density while solids also have maximum elasticity constant modulus of elasticity than in gases if we see the ratio this ratio is maximum for solids maximum for solids minimum for gases that's why the speed of the gases are maximum in solids than in gases you can write this answer as uh, as we know that as ratio ratio of e over p is maximum in solids or for solids so v is maximum force in solids then gases or student you can also use your own words you can answer this question like your ways in your own wording because you will have a concept about the speed and speed is the elasticity modulus over the density and we know that the elastic modulus of elasticity for the solid is greater than which is young's elastic model and about the density density is lesser in gases but the density is maximum for the solids while in case as a whole if we see that the ratio of e over rho ratio of e over rho ratio of elasticity modulus over density is maximum for solids than for gases so we can answer this question so, uh, sound travel faster in solids than in gases because e over rho ratio is maximum for the solids and minimum for the gases so sound travel faster in solids than in gases okay students now we are going to discuss next question uh, which is 8.7 how are beats useful in tuning musical instruments i repeat how are beats useful in tuning musical instruments okay students uh, we have already read about the beats what are beats we know that beats are formed when the difference of the frequencies of two sounded body must have less than 10 hertz or the number of beats number of beats producing producing per second equal to the f1 minus f2 mean to say difference of the two so difference of the frequencies of the two sounded bodies this is the frequency of the first sounding body this is the frequency of the second sounded body so number of beats producing per second or number of beats producing per second equal to the differences of the frequencies of the two sounded body so if we want to get a desired note of frequency then what will we have to do we will have to do that we will have to get an instrument standard instrument of frequency then we can adjust the our instrument frequency to the standard instrument frequency by sounded by sounding both of them if we sounded both of them both instruments then they produce 
number of beats equal uh, number of beats per second equal to the difference of the those two sounded instruments now gradually what happened gradually the number of beats producing vanish number of beats equal to zero because both instruments will have same frequency the frequency differences between two instrument equal zero then we can say that our instrument became tuned so dear students we can tune our instrument according to our desired note of frequency for this sake we will get desired note of frequency standard instrument then we can adjust our instrument frequency to the standard instrument okay how can we adjust we will sounded we will be sounded those two instruments simultaneously okay so when we sounded those two instruments at a time then they are producing they started producing number of beats which is equal to the difference of the frequencies of those two instruments now a time will come when the number of producing per second number of beats producing per second became zero at that time the differences between the frequency of those instruments will be vanished those instruments will have same number of frequencies f1 and f2 and in this way we can say that those have and in this way we can say that those are same frequencies and we said that our in music instrument is tuned okay now you can use your own words you should use your own words okay to write this answer